What's up guys, Nick here and you're watching Nick and Katie. So if you're anything like me, you love upgrading parts on your bike. It can make your bike ride better, look better, and it's super fun when you meet up with your friends at the trailhead, telling them all the new upgrades that you just did to your bike. The one problem is, mountain bike upgrades can be super expensive, costing hundreds, even thousands of dollars. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys 12 super cheap mountain bike upgrades. Make sure to subscribe and like the video, and let's get into it. Lock on grips. You want your connection to the bike to feel comfortable and controlled, and there are really only three points of contact on your bike. Your butt, your feet, and your hands. Lock on grips are the way to go if you want functional and reliable grips. Unlike standard grips, lock on grips can be easily removed when servicing your bike. Also, standard grips can move around when they have become worn, which you won't have to worry about with lock on grips. Upgrading your grips is a great opportunity to add some color or style to your bike as well. Colorful cable ends. Cable ends are necessary for protecting shift and brake cables from becoming frayed, but they are also a great place to add a little color to your bike. These cable ends are super cheap and come in every color you could imagine. If you are going to replace your cable ends, be sure to use a legit pair of cutters so you don't fray the cable. Also, be careful not to cut the cable too short. You want at least an inch of cable sticking out. If you work on your bike, these are definitely something you will want to have around. Alright, let's talk valves. There are two kind of mountain bike valves, Presta and Schrader. Schrader valves are used on cars, lawn tractors, and a lot of older and less expensive bikes. Presta valves, on the other hand, are found on practically all high-end bikes. A good trick to tell them apart is Presta can be pressed with a finger to remove air, and they are always skinnier. There's a lot of potential upgrades involving valves, so I'm going to cover all of them. Going tubeless. If you haven't gone tubeless, you are missing out on a lot of benefits. You are able to run lower tire pressures for more grip, you can save rotational weight, and best of all, say goodbye to pinch flats. If you aren't sure if your current wheels and tires are tubeless ready, you can look online or just ask your local bike shop. Once you know you can upgrade a tubeless without buying new wheels and tires, you can buy rim tape, press the valves, and tire sealant for less than 30 bucks. Let's say you already have your bike set up tubeless. Look at you. Another thing you can upgrade would be replacing boring standard Presta valves with something with a splash of color, or if you want to push the budget, maybe pick up some reserve Fillmore valves. I've heard great things about these valves, and now they even have color cap options if you're trying to outfancy even the fanciest of fancy boys. Which brings me to my next upgrade. Valve caps. Maybe your current valves are fine, and you don't want to fix something that isn't broken. Fair, fair. But it can't hurt to jazz things up a bit, especially if it's only around 5 bucks. That's why you clicked on this video, right? These colorful valve caps are the simplest and most fun upgrade on this list. I definitely recommend going with plastic over metal valve caps though, as metal caps have been known to crustify your valves. Last but not least, in the valve department, we have some valve cores. If you're stoked on the look of your current valves, but they just don't work like they used to, the problem might be the valve core. They are super easy to replace, and I got this bag of 20 of them for only $8. You'll just need to let the air out of the tire, remove the core, replace it with a new one, fill it back up, and you're good to go. Clogged or bent valve cores can be annoying, but the good thing is it's super easy and cheap to replace them. That wraps up Valves 101. Let's move on to something totally different. Headset spacers. Not only can these little spacers be moved around to change the height of your bars, they can also be swapped out for some better spacers or some snazzier colored ones. You can get headset spacers for a super low price, but paying a bit more can ensure you're getting quality spacers that will work the way they should. The ones I bought are top of the line and still came in under $30. These spacers are another great place to add a splash of color to your bike. Next on the list is a sick water bottle. To be honest, this item is the largest and most noticeable yet inexpensive item on your bike. A dorky water bottle can be a distraction and ruin the suave look of even the dopest bike. That 10k S-Works build is sick bro, but that promotional water bottle that you won from spinning the prize wheel at the community fair just isn't the vibe. Through axles. My bike came with these quick release through axles which are great if you find yourself taking off your wheels often. Otherwise they just add weight and aren't really necessary. I replaced them with these bolt on through axles from Bergtech and I love the simple and clean look. Just be sure to have allen keys with you in case you need to remove a wheel. Pedal pins. If you ride a lot of techie rock gardens and find yourself pedal striking often, there's a good chance the pins on your pedals might be bent, broken, or worn down. A lot of higher end pedals come with replacement pins, but with a little research you can find pins that will work with whatever pedals you own. 
The hardest part about this upgrade will likely be removing the old pins. With patience and the right tools, you can replace your old pins and have your pedals feeling just as grippy as they were when they were new. Volume Reducers If you find yourself bottoming out your suspension on big drops, you might be a good candidate for volume reducers. Also called volume spacers or shock tokens, these little coins will reduce the volume of air in your shock, creating a progressive feel in your suspension. This will make the shock less likely to bottom out on big hits. Volume reducers are super simple to install in forks and relatively simple to install in a rear shock, although you will need a few specialty tools. For the fork, you will need a socket specific to your fork, and for the rear shock, you will need a strap wrench. These tools aren't expensive, so don't let that deter you from attempting these upgrades. Each brand requires a different style of volume spacer, so do your research to figure out which ones to buy for your fork and shock. The last item on this list is a top cap. Top caps are extremely easy to install and can add a personal touch to your bike. Katie's sister got us these top caps as a Christmas gift and we absolutely love them. To install, just remove the cap bolt and swap the top cap. Take note of how tight the cap bolt is and replace the bolt with the same amount of torque so you don't over tighten it. Some cool ideas for top cap designs would be a motivational phrase or perhaps your channel name if you're a YouTuber. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because we post a brand new video just like this, all mountain bike related, every single Sunday so you won't want to miss it. And be sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. And that was my 12 super cheap mountain bike upgrades. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I'm Nick and you're watching Nick and Katie. Thanks for watching.